Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Nazarian. Today I'm going to share with you some additional forceps that we have with the Golden Dental Solutions collection. Uh, we've all been used to the standard set. However, this is what we call is the cow horn set. We have two different types. The first type is the 23, and the 23 is a little bit more pointed, and this allows us to get into bifurcated roots um, and get right into the furcation area to easily extract teeth. In addition to that, we also have the 17 series. This is for more convergent roots, and this still allows us to get the tooth out atraumatically. The beauty of the 23 series of the cow horn, uh, unlike some that you may find out on the market, is the fact that the beak is much pointier, and it allows you to get into the furcation area much easier. So if we take a look, unlike traditional type uh, forceps or cow horns, we're unable to get into the furcation area very well. With this set, you can see the sharpness of it really um, gets into the furcation, and it allows us to get the tooth out atraumatically. So with the 23 cow horn series from Golden Dental Solutions, we're actually able to take this fine pointed tip and go straight into the furcation area. Now the biggest misconception is that we're supposed to just go buckle lingual and then go out. I've had a chance to see the inventor of these uh, forceps, Dr. Golden, show me an easier technique that allows you to get them out without breaking the root tips. And what that entails is being able to turn it measly slightly and hold it for 10 seconds, and then turn it distally and hold it for 10 seconds, and then at that point we've expanded the bone and we'll move in a buckle, lingual, and then out the buckle direction to easily and atraumatically extract the tooth. A patient presented with constant throbbing pain on tooth number 30. If we take a look at the radiograph, we see a periapical lesion on the mesial buccal root. So our findings was not only that the tooth was uh, abscessed, but also that it had a 10 millimeter probing pocket that confirmed the vertical fracture. So we knew this patient uh, had some mobility with this tooth and they obviously were complaining of constant throbbing pain. Our treatment plan was to atraumatically extract this tooth, clean out the socket, and place some uh, grafting material with a membrane. In this particular case, we utilized the cow horn forceps, the number 23 from Golden Dental Solutions. And what you want to do is initially get the beak of this forcep and place it within the furcation area of the tooth. The 23 is used for bifurcated roots. The 17 is used for convergent roots. So again, in this particular case, we use the 23. We're able to get the beak into the furcation area. This is the only forceps uh, set that you do squeeze, actually, and you squeeze hard. And while squeezing, you're going to turn the tooth towards the mesial. You'll hold and count for about 10 seconds. At that point you'll go ahead and turn the tooth towards the distal. After 10 seconds has gone by you'll go ahead and move the tooth towards the buccal for 5 seconds to the lingual for another 5 seconds and then out the buckle and the two should come out without any fracture of the roots. Here we see the apical portion of the number 23 cow horn series from Golden Dental Solutions and you can clearly see why this forcep is unlike other cow horns because the point goes directly into the furcation area and it has a long enough beak that it goes subgingival to adapt to this uh, anatomy of the tooth. Once the tooth has been extracted, we'll use a curette and remove any granulation tissue. When grafting with socket preservation or any type of grafting, it's uh, important to make sure we remove any type of granulation tissue. We'll curette any of that tissue out, irrigate with surgical saline, and then place the grafting material of choice. In this particular case, we use the Goldoss DBM putty with chips that is available in a syringe. 
we dispensed the grafting material into the socket. We went ahead and packed it, but we don't condense it like an amalgam. And then at that point, we'll go ahead and place a pericardium membrane, which is the Goldos membrane from Golden Dental Solutions. We tuck in the lingual portion as well as the buccal portion. While it is in place, we'll go ahead and suture it with the sutures of your liking. We'll allow this area to heal for about seven to 10 days before removing the sutures. And then within four to five months, we'll have the proper bone quality to place an implant.